Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Alu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in the LeetCode platform are there in the GitHub repository of mine. The link for that is provided in the chat description below. In addition to that, all the questions I have segregated into 5 playlists which are easy type, medium type, hard type and the premium questions which are available in LeetCode and also all the questions which is consisting of the, all the categories in a sequence order. Let's dive into the question which we are going to solve today. It is of question number 1407, Top Travelers. Let's go to our lead code platform. Okay. They have given a schema of users table. Okay. Each user has a ID and their respective name. And the ID is the primary for this table. Okay. Column name. Okay. Each user has gone to some rights. ID, user ID, distance means. Here user ID is their respective IDs in real time and each then they go to a riding they will be traveling some distance and the riding has a unique ID this is that ID okay now what they are asking is per each name or the person who is there how much distance he has traveled it let's see it If you see the users have a ID which is user ID in this table we can create a relationship between them if you create a left join if they have gone for the distance and say right it will be shown if it is if they have not kept any right there will be a null thing okay let's create a left join of both these things okay now what is ID here one allies who is having ID one here one uh where has he traveled again okay there is only one so allies has traveled only one time which is of distance how much 120 next to bob to bob where is to bob yeah he has traveled only once how much distance 317 okay next to 3x how many times Alex has traveled? Let's see. Yeah, only once he has also traveled. Okay, 222 is the total distance he traveled. For Donald, let's see. Okay, there is a no relationship between these two tables, so it is null. Okay. Now, 7 Lee. Where is 7 here? Yeah, 7 is there here. Here here right so he has traveled this total distance what is this 100 120 230 right so uh Ali will be traveling 100 plus 50 oh sorry it's 120 and 230 let's see summation of that 0 0 0 uh, 150 and 230 right I mean it is not 150 it's 120 and this is 2 3 50 1 1 2 okay Lee has traveled 450 13 Jonath 13 has traveled only once here this is distance of him 312 okay 19 Elvis where is 19 here 19 has traveled two times 50 plus 400 50 400 so total he traveled is 450 450 okay that this is what 
you can see here also except for one thing where he has not traveled anything we will keep null as zero okay so what we need to do we need to do the left join of them and we need to group by this id and we need to calculate the sum of distances if the sum of distance is null we need to keep it as zero and submit let's see it let's write the code for that from users table a left join writes b on id user id now what we need to do okay we need to group by id because id and name are unique for both of them we can keep id comma name we need to select what select the name comma we need to do sum of if it is null it should be zero other than things it should be the same distance so i will keep case when distance is null then zero okay else else i will keep the distance only means if it is null only keep it as zero otherwise keep the distance only i am summing it okay what is the shortcut they have given for that traveling distance okay traveling distance we have done it uh, where is the mistake incorrect syntax near okay i need to keep end because it's a case when statement Uh, group by ID which ID it is okay from the a table it should be a dot ID because there are two ID columns okay it is showing wrong as answer why it is saying and did they give any order by condition okay they have asked for what In the traveling distance descending order and also name in ascending order okay let's keep that one order by traveling distance descending order and name ascending order yes yeah, accepted let's submit it Okay, all the test cases have been successfully passed. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot and it uh, motivates me a lot. And share it with your friends or any study partner whom you are studying with. Try to be disciplined. Complete all the videos and all the playlists. Make sure you can up your SQL game. Try to achieve your dream job as fast as possible. Never ever give up.